exercise 6.3 right okay here first question the first question is what is the first question we have to find the slope find the slope of the tangent to the curve so i am taking the curve uh, equation of curve what is the equation of curve here in the first question given that given that i am going to write all the steps properly here like that you have to write in ncert so 3x power 4 minus 4x so actually you have to write given equation of the curve is given equation of the curve is y is equal to uh, 3x power 4 minus 4x and and x is equal to 4 fine now what we have to do this equation whatever the equation they given let us take this equation is equation 1 okay so this is i am taking as equation 1 this is equation 1 now differentiate differentiate equation 1 with respect to x on both sides so y becomes dy by dx right side d by dx of 3x power 4 Minus 4x. So this is equal to 3 is a constant. Take it outside. So d by dx of x power 4 minus 4 is a constant. 4 into d by dx of x. Since we have to write the formulas, what are the formulas we need to write here? Here d by dx of. Okay, here d by dx of x power n. is equal to what is the formula n x power n minus 1 so with alpha of this so 3 into x power 4 is 4 into x power 4 minus 1 minus 4 times of a dx dx cancel it is 1 students is it clear now this is finally dy by dx dy by dx in the sense slope so finally 12 x cube Minus four. Okay, right. Now they are asking the slope at x is equal to four. Therefore, the slope slope of tangent. So slope of tangent of the curve of the curve y is equal to. 3x power 4 minus 4x at x is equal to 4 is 4 is dy by dx is equal to now substitute the x value 12 into 4 cube minus 4 so d by dx nothing but here we can write as m dy by dx means simply can write dy by dx or as m So twelve into the sixty-four uh, minus four. Yeah, what is the answer, students? What is the answer? Yes. Seven sixty-four. Seven sixty-four. Right. That is seven six four. Right. this is the answer fine next question next question clearly x minus 1 by x minus 2 uh, so this is x minus 1 by x minus 2 then at what point here x should not equal to 2 y y x should not equal to 2 when x is equal to 2 y cannot be defined given curve cannot be defined so we have to find the slope at x is equal to 10 okay other than 2 at particular value x is equal to 10 so here slope of the tangent is again find dy by dx now what to do differentiate on both sides with respect to x 
So here y is equal to x minus 1 by x minus 2. So I want to compare it with u by v. Since we know that d of u by v formula is v u dash minus u v dash by v squared. So in differentiation, especially in derivative concept, student everyone must be remember uh, derivative of uv like product rule this quotient rule this division rule right so uh, here now uh, u becomes what is u here now u is equal to x minus 1 which implies what is u dash u dash is 1 v is equal to x minus 2 which implies what is v dash v dash is clearly 1 again so now differentiate let us take this is equation 1 differentiate equation 1 with respect to x it is in the form of u by v then left side clearly dy by dx right side substitute we know all values uh, in this formula am i right we know that all formulas students clearly we know that each and every formula over here so then substitute v u dash and u v dash by v square then it will becomes uh, v x minus 2 times of 1 minus x minus 1 times of 1 by x minus 2 the whole square so finally what is dy by dx here dy by dx is equal to xx get cancelled can i cancel directly x minus x get cancelled here minus 2 minus into minus plus 1 so minus 2 plus 1 by x minus 2 the whole square so this is equal to minus 1 by x minus 2 the whole square clear students are any doubts okay so minus uh, 1 by this but we need the slope value at therefore the slope at x is equal to 10 is so dy by dx is equal to minus 1 by x uh, 10 minus sorry x value substitute here 10 minus 2 double scale because y here uh, they given particularly uh, only x values x is equal to 10 x is equal to 4 why don't they give like y values because it is an explicit function it is not implicit explicit like uh, see uh, all the function in the form of y is equal to f of x f of x will be here f of x here f of x here f of x all are explicit form so that x value alone enough okay no need that y value because y becomes directly dy by dx okay right now substitute here this is equal to minus 1 by 8 square is 64 is it right this is the required slope the next okay a student you can try to do this question very easy already they mention x coordinate is 2 so x is equal to 2 you can substitute this you can do very easily uh let us this is also okay fourth one will do it Fourth one also easy, x is equal to 3, you can substitute after finding dy by dx. Okay, anyhow, we will do that fourth one. So, what is the given equation of curve? Fourth one is given equation of the curve is y is equal to uh, 3, uh, okay, okay, only x cube minus. 3x plus 2 right now again differentiate uh, this y differentiate with respect to x okay let us take this is equation 1 equation 1 you can differentiate with respect to x okay y becomes again dy by dx uh, so x cube is 3x square minus 3 into 1 that's all now at uh, x is equal to so what is the x coordinate given so you have to write clearly so clearly uh, uh, the x coordinate is 3 then that is x is equal to 3 like that you have to write i am writing directly here 
So at x is equal to 3, dy by dx, or that is equal to m, that is equal to 3 into 3 square minus 3. That is nothing but 27 minus 3. So what is the answer here? 3 cubed. 3 cubed is 24. That's all. Simple. Find dy by dx. Almost without finding dy by dx, you cannot do any question in this exercise. In each and every question, we must find dy by dx. But the, without dy by dx means slope, is there an equation of tangent and normal? No. Without m, there is no equation of tangent and normal. m nothing but dy by dx. So you must be differentiate all the questions. Right? Now, question number 5. Question number 5, they give any parametric equations. Let's see now. Uh, x is equal to a cos theta. Yesterday, I clearly have done that, but anyhow, once again, we'll do. Given that x is equal to a cos cube theta. So, can you scroll up, sir? Yeah, why not? Okay, these are the given equations here. Fifth question. Okay. So simple, what I said, uh, clearly given equations are parametric equations uh, in parameter t. You have to write that. Given equations are parametric, parametric equations. Parametric equations or parametric functions, okay. A parameter. What is the parameter? Theta here. So what to do here? Differentiate x and y with respect to. You have to write differentiate x and y with respect to theta. Then dx by d theta becomes a into cos cube. See here, here you should apply chain rule. What is chain rule? First cube, it is in the form of derivative of x cube. Okay, it is in the form of x cube. x cube is 3x square. Okay, so then 3 into cos square theta into again cos theta derivative is minus sin theta. So this is equal to minus 3a times of cos square theta into sine theta. Right, students? Okay. Right. Okay, ma'am. So this is dx by theta and uh, dy by d theta becomes a into 3 sin square theta because again x cube form. Then after sine theta. First power, okay differentiate like uh, it is in the form of exponent like n into exponent minus 1 then sine theta derivative is cos theta so this is equal to same 3a uh, sine square theta into cos theta see theta value you can substitute directly here in dx by d theta and dy by d theta or else you can find dy by dx first so dy by dx is equal to dy by d theta by dx by d theta multiplying dividing with d theta see what about here when i dividing this uh, uh, dy by d theta by dx by d theta what are the terms will be cancelled 3 3 get cancelled a get cancelled see one cos one cos get cancelled one sine one sine get cancelled so what is the remaining value one is minus minus is there here, this sine theta by cos theta. So, dy by d theta remaining is sine theta. And dx by d theta is cos theta. So, that minus tan theta is remaining. I mean, I'm cancelled directly here itself. 3a, 3a get cancelled. One cos, one cos, one sine, sine get cancelled. Finally, dy by dx is minus tan theta. But we require the slope at x is equal to pi by 4. Sorry, theta is equal to pi by 4 now dy by dx at a theta is equal to pi by 4 dy by dx becomes minus tan pi by 4 that is minus 1 okay what is the slope of my year 
therefore the slope is m is equal to minus 1 is it clear i think so it is clear so what i have done we have solved we solved many problem which is related to parametric form so i find dy by dx okay then after i substitute theta value that's all we got m is equal to minus 1 that's it this is also parametric equation you can try this question student find dx by d theta here dy by d theta here simply you'll get like theta is equal to pi by 2 sin 90 becomes 1 and if the if we're having any cos 90 that will become clearly 0 okay now question number 7 question number 7 find the points at which the tangent parallel to x-axis okay here they're asking the Point. Sir, the previous question, they asked for slope for normal. Okay, 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 normal. Okay, fine, fine. This is a slope for a tangent. Okay. Therefore, the slope of... Very good. The slope of tangent is m is equal to minus 1. Then, the slope of very good slope of normal is when m is the slope of tangent what is the slope of normal is minus 1 by m so here it is minus 1 by minus 1 so that is equal to 1 therefore slope of normal is plus 1 okay man, very good clear students okay like that you have to observe the question first what they are asking here Slope of normal, they are asking. I thought that slope of tangent, right? Okay, next step. Question is, find the points at which the tangent to the curve parallel to x-axis. For example, the curve may like this. So if I take here, uh, this is x-axis, uh, this is y-axis. I'm taking, there is a curve like this. I may take like this. Okay. So otherwise, I may take the curve like this let us observe here okay if i draw the tangent this is a curve i'm taking it if i draw the tangent here for example i draw the tangent this is the tangent to the curve see it the tangent may pass in through a unique point may passing through two points may passing through three points this is the tangent okay a unique tangent but passing through two different points like this is a tangent to let us take this is p this is q so this is same tangent at the p as well as q so they may exist only one point let us see here if i draw the tangent here how many points the tangent is passing through how many points only unique point if this is also parallel to x-axis uh, i draw the tangent this is also parallel to x-axis but passing through only one point here also this is also tangent passing through one point but here this is passing through two different points maybe sometimes three different points maybe a four five infinite also right so here they are asking what are those points which is uh, the tangent of the given curve let us consider this is the given curve y is equal to this value like that we have to find p value or there exist any two points q value like p q r like that so it is simple so first write the equation of curve what is the equation of curve y is equal to uh, like x cube minus 3 x square uh, minus 9 x plus 7 okay now uh, this is equation of 1 and uh, c the tangent which is parallel to x axis means slope value 0 slope value means dy by dx value is 0 but what is dy by dx okay in the question they given the slope of the tangent a slope of the tangent um, parallel to x-axis they given okay parallel to x-axis means dy by dx is equal to zero what is dy by dx how can you find dy by dx so dy by dx is given by e, e differentiate equation one with respect to x so differentiate equation one with respect to 
x. Okay, students. Now look at here. dy by dx is equal to 3x square minus 6x minus 9. Am I right? Am I right? Right. Okay. 3x square minus 6x minus 9. So uh, this is the slope of the given curve. Since slope of slope of tangent to equation one is parallel to parallel to x-axis. That is dy by dx is equal to zero. So what is dy by dx? Three x square minus six x minus 9 is equal to 0. Let's find x values. So it is a quadratic equation. Take 3 common. So when I take 3 outside, 3 times of x square minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. Finally, therefore, x square minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 by 3. 0 by 3 in the sense 0. Now it is a quadratic equation. And uh, see, uh, is it possible factorization method? x square can be done 1 into x square. 1 into minus 3 is minus 3. To get minus 3, uh, multiplication should be minus 3 and uh, addition should be minus 2. So what are the factors here, students? Factors of minus 3 to get uh, the whose sum is minus 2. 3 into 1. 3, 1. 3 into 1 is plus 3. Minus, minus 3, 3 into 1. Okay, right. So this can be written. Shall I write here this value as uh, minus 3 plus 1? That's all. When the roots are minus 3 plus 1, you can write like this. That's it. So finally, therefore, which implies x minus 3 is equal to 0, x plus 1 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 3 and x is equal to minus 1. Okay, we got two different values of x. Okay, uh, they are asking the points, nothing but we required x and y. So that x value you can substitute in equation 1, you will get y value. When x is equal to 3, then what is y value, student? Tell me what is y value? x cube means 3 cube minus uh, 3x square means 3 into 3 square uh, plus uh, minus 9 into 3 plus 7. All of you simplify this and tell me what is where 3 cube 27. 3 square is 9, 9, 3. Cancel. Now, what is y value? Amun? X value is 3. What is y value here? Minus 27. Minus 20. So, minus 27 plus 7 becomes minus 20. This is one point. The next, when x is equal to minus 1 same y value so minus 1 cube minus 3 times of minus 1 square minus 9 times of minus 1 plus 7 therefore what is another point which implies x comma y x comma y is equal to minus 1 comma yes friend what is this value minus 4 the 16 i think uh, well, right. Therefore, you have to write the points of intersection. Okay, the points at which the tangent. Is. You can write. Therefore, the required points are three comma minus twenty and uh, minus one comma. That's all. 3 comma minus 20 minus 1 comma 12. That's it. Got idea? Okay, very simple questions. What about next question? Any doubts in this question? Strengths? Having any doubts, you can ask.
So what I've done, um, I found dy by dx and equating to zero, that's all. I got x value, I substituted x values in given equation, we got y value, that's it. So, eighth question. Eighth question is, find a point, again we need to find x comma y value to this curve, at which the tangent is parallel to the curve joining. So it's a really very, uh, oh, it's a wonderful question, nothing but uh, very easy, but uh, logically they're given. Okay, find the points of the given curve. So given curve is, uh, what is the given curve? Y is equal to X minus to the whole square, fine. And at which the tangent is parallel to the curve joining uh, two points, right? What are the given two points? Strength, two comma zero, four comma four. How can we uh, find the points here, common point? I think you got an idea. See here, simple. Right, I'm going to take uh, two curves. So let us take, it is actually, it is a, what do you observe strength? Oh, X minus to the whole square, it's a parabola equation. Is it symmetric about x-axis or y-axis? X square will come, symmetric about y-axis. So how to draw the curve? So it's better to, you can draw the curve if you know that. See, uh, right. How to draw the curve simply? It is very easy to draw the curve because when x is equal to zero, what is the y value you are going to get? x is equal to zero y value. Is anyone, when I put x is equal to zero, y value we are going to get four, am I right? When y is equal to zero, what is the x value? Y is equal to zero, x value is equal to two. Okay, now the curve, and since we know that it is a, a parabola equation, parabola, the graph of parabola always U shape and the coefficient is positive will be there here. What do you observe here, student? In before that, plus, plus nothing, but it is open upwards always. It is open upwards, right? When it's minus, it is open downwards. So clearly the graph becomes here like this. It is y always positive because right side it is square. Right, this is the graph and uh, 2 comma 0, okay, 2 comma 0 and 4 comma 4, 4 comma 4 is where, here it is 4, if I take 4 here, 4 comma 4, somewhere here, uh, let us consider this is 4 comma 4. Okay, if I join these two, this is a curve, okay, join these two. This is the card. Okay. And uh, if we uh, like uh, draw the tangent, uh, this is curved, but we require the tangent somewhere. I may not be drawn, uh, the graph may not be drawn properly. The graph might be, we get uh, four means uh, somewhere if we take the same distance, actually the graph we are going to get like this. Okay. Look at here find if you want to properly so where is 2 comma 2 here 2 comma 2 becomes right 4 the same distance you can take here it is 4 this is the point 4 comma 4 actually midpoint is this is 2 comma 2 when I joining these two points this is the curd curd okay now we need to draw the uh, uh, like a parabola, the graph of the parabola, we may get like this. Yeah, like this, we may get uh, the graph will be like this. Okay. So now, uh, if I draw the tangent to the parabola at a certain point, at a some point, look at it, I'm taking this uh, point, 
I'm draw I'm drawing the tangent. So what do you observe? The tangent of the given curve which is parallel to the curve which is joining two points two comma zero and four comma four. Okay, the tangent of the given curve parallel to the curve which is joining two comma zero four comma four. That's all. So what to do here? Okay, tangent means it has having slope. This is equation one. Find dy by dx. Dy by dx that is nothing but slope. This is equal to two times of x minus two. Okay, this is the slope of the given curve m m value. Okay, slope of the given tangent. But how can you find the x value? How can you find x value? Clearly, clearly here, given one condition, the tangent parallel to the curve. So if I take the slope of the tangent is m. The slope of the curve also same m alone both will be equal because both lines are parallel. Okay, the slope of parallel is always equal. Then how can you find the slope of the curve whose points are two comma zero and four comma four? Yes, students. Why two points? Exactly. When two points are given, since we know that the slope of the curve, slope of curve passing through two comma zero. I'm taking directly here. M is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So that is equal to y2 minus y1 is 4 minus 0 by 4 minus 2. So nothing but m is equal to 4 by 2. That is equal to 4 by 2 value is 2. Fine. Uh, so slope of the curve we got as uh, 2, and the slope of the tangent we know that 2 into x minus 2. You you can equate it. Therefore, the tangent and curve are parallel. Okay, parallel. So uh, whenever it is parallel, then their slopes are are equal. Okay, then. uh simply you can take this is a uh, slope of tangent is m1 this is m2 this is m2 that is i am going to take here m1 is equal to m2 that is m1 is equal to m2 so can you scroll a little sir okay when m1 is equal to m2 means what is m1 2 times of x minus 2 is equal to 2 Okay, which implies two to get cancelled here. You can cancel directly, so x minus two is equal to one, which implies what is x value, students? X value is three. Am I right? X value is three. Then when x value is three, what is y value? Substitute in given equation one, so you'll get corresponding y value. When x is equal to three, then Y is equal to three minus one, three minus two, the whole square. That is nothing but y is equal to one. Here we are going to get only one point, only one point, right? So what is that point? Therefore, the required point is is three comma one. See students, in the question itself, uh, they'll give uh, indirectly the idea whether we are getting a single point and more than one point, one point more than one point. So what they given in the question? Question number seven. Point the points. Points nothing but uh, you can consider that uh, you are going to get more than one point. But in question number eight, find a point, a point. So you are going to get only unique point. So here also we got only unique point that is three comma one. In previous question we got two points like that. Okay, so next question also find the point means uh, we may get only one point here. Uh, find the equation of all the lines that are done easy. Okay, so next onwards till question number nine they are asking the question which is related to only slope. Find the slope at a certain point, then find the points on the curve 
like there some conditions are given that we have done okay so question number 10 onwards we need to find the equation of uh, the tangents equation of normal like that that is nothing but y1 y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 so try to do this question number nine student okay find the points on the curve at which the tangent uh, at which the tangent is y is equal to x minus one okay so what is the mean by this okay this is quite uh, different uh, compared to the previous question but easy totally uh, 27 questions are there here so increasing decreasing tangent uh, and normal and uh, maximum minimum mostly these three chapters having more than 20 questions 